find a function f such that f vector equals gradient f, and use part a to evaluate the line integral of f dot dr along a given curve c. And the given f vector function is yz i plus xz j plus xy plus 2z k, and c is the line segment from 1 comma 0 comma negative 2 to 4 comma 6 comma 3. So the good thing about this problem is that we automatically assume vector f equals gradient f, so I don't have to set curl f equal to zero. So all we have to do is take each component of vector function f, so I'll call that f of x, which is the x dimension component, or i. So we take f of x equals yz. We take f of y equals now the j component, xz. And the z component, which is xy uh, plus 2z, which is the k component. And now what we have to do is integrate each of these with respect to their variables. So it would be integral of f sub x dx equals the integral of yz with respect to x. And now the integral of f sub y dy this time equals integral of xz dy and lastly the integral of f sub z dz equal to the integral of xy plus 2z all with respect to dz this time so why do we do this it's because we're taking the integral of each of the partial derivatives of a single function which would yield a parent function and once we take all the components and sum them up together we get our parent function which will be the answer of f so this component the integral of xz with respect to x is simply x times yz so xyz and you could just say plus c but plus c doesn't really mean anything in this case and uh, for the integral of xz with respect to y, you get the same thing, y times xz, which I'll write as xyz, and you'll notice that these two values are the same. And lastly, we take the sum xy plus 2z with respect to z, and the integral of that is xyz, but this time it changes a little bit. Now we have an integral of 2z dz, which is just z squared, because 2z squared over 2 simplifies to z squared. So now that we have each dimensional component and its respective integral, we can take the parent function f, I'll label that as capital F, equal to xyz. And you can see that repeats here, so we don't need to say that twice, plus z squared. And that is the final answer. Sometimes you may have to say plus k in parentheses, but since we're given a definite boundary, we don't have to do that. This is the answer to part a. This is f sub x, y, z. And now what we have to do is evaluate it along a line from 1, 0, negative 2 to 4, 6, 3. So luckily, that's pretty simple. All we have to do is x, y, z plus z squared evaluated between these two bounds. We can do this this simply because f is a potential function. So therefore path won't really matter in this case. So all we have to do now is plug in these two values. So on the top half we got 4 comma 6 comma 3. So plugging that in we get x 4 y 6 z 3 plus z again 3 squared. And now we minus that by the lower component, which would be 1, 0, negative 2, plus negative 2 squared. Evaluating that, we get 4 times 6 times 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 6 is 72, plus 3 squared, which is 9. Subtract that by, we know this term here is 0 plus negative 2 squared is 4. And simplifying that further, we get 72 plus 9 is 81. Subtract that by positive 4. 
we get our final answer of 77. So our function f was xyz plus z squared and evaluating it between those two boundaries we got 77 and those are your two part answers. If you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and good luck.